First of all, President Hong, thank you so much for your time for this interview. Thank you for having me. So I heard you went to Colombia and you were actually there for the South Korean hosting of the consultation session for South Korean buyers interested in, Korea, in the Korean wave. What was your experience like and is the Korean wave really big in South America? Through my visit to Colombia, I realized that Hallyu, or the Korean wave, may spread not only to Colombia, but to South America as a whole. As you may know, I went to Colombia with Yukis, the idol group. Although we arrived on a rainy night, we were passionately greeted by around 300 fans, holding pictures, singing songs, and shouting out the names of the members of the group. It was an enjoyable experience for us to be surrounded by hordes of screaming fans late at night at the hotel. The atmosphere was heated to the point that some claimed the fans to be creating a big fuss. Yukis performed about three songs as a special guest to the K-pop show at Colombia's greatest music festival, hosted by Arirang TV of Korea and Caracol TV of Colombia. The audience of 3,000 people welcomed the group with great enthusiasm and passion. And this was when I saw this invigorating excitement and I realized that the wave had even reached Colombia. Even so, the South American market is still pretty new to the Korean wave. So at this consultation session, what type of countries, what companies were there, what kind of services did we provide for them, and uh, were there a lot of people interested? The total of 43 companies from Colombia, as well as nearby countries, including Ecuador and Panama, participate in WorldCon Korea, the Korea content business to business networking and meeting event. We held about 120 export consultations, providing an opportunity to arouse interest of the companies of the South American region toward Korean content. The event indeed incited much interest in Korean content, such as Song Gyun Gwan scandal, a historical fiction drama. As for the TV drama Coffee Prince, two provisional contracts were signed. Although it would have been better if more agreements had been made, for a first-time event in Panama, this can be evaluated that much interest has greatly increased our opportunities for Korean content to enter the South American market. Outside of South America, we also want to spread the Korean wave to Africa, the Middle East, uh, Eastern Europe. So what kind of plans are underway to open up those markets? In order to spread the Korean wave to South America, we held an on-site performance and a meeting event with local companies. However, there are areas in which the Korean wave has not spread to yet, such as Africa and the Middle East. We classify such markets as potential markets, and we are seeking to actively target those areas. First, we would hold a business-to-business -business meeting event with local companies, like we did in South America. Next, we would host a road show, screening dramas or previewing animations. Thus, 
we would actively carry out events and roadshows with such various items and programs. We plan to sustain the Korean wave rapidly spreading to Asia and Europe and simultaneously expand the movement further. Now this is so that a greater number of genres reach a greater audience. What kind of role would you say the Korean wave played in turning Korea into a more attractive and sophisticated cultural destination? I most certainly believe that the Korean wave has played a significant role in broadening the understanding of Korea and advancing the essence of Korean culture among the people in the global society. There is nothing better than the Hallyu to improve Korea's image, as well as to enhance the national brand value within the global society. Hallyu undeniably plays a crucial role in selecting what kind of image to disseminate to people around the world. This, in turn, will boost national prestige and overall increase global influence of Korea in the international community. The latest phrase regarding the Korean wave is the Korean wave 3.0. Now, what kind of contents would you say is needed to continue to push and propel the Korean wave? I believe that the trend and popularity of K-pop and television dramas will continue for quite a long period. However, as time goes by, changes may occur. A TV drama starring a K-pop star may gain popularity or K-pop may combine with hanbok, the traditional dress or fashion. In other words, fusion contents fusing K-pop with a different genre may emerge. Eventually, this may lead to an increased interest in Korean food or tourism, eventually leading to growing interest and popularity of Korean culture in general. And the ultimate success of K-pop will be achieved by this, only by inciting interest of the people around the world towards our Korean culture. We have lovers of K-pop, but of course we have critics, and critics are saying that uh, Korean soap operas, Korean pop, doesn't really have a strong identity, doesn't have roots because it's too globalized. What would you say is the identity of the Korean wave? Just because the external form of the Korean wave is dancing or the rhythms of a song that are similar to those of the West. Now this does not mean that the Korean wave is not Korean. Although elements of foreign cultures are integrated externally, K-pop inherently possesses a DNA that's unique to Korean culture internally. And so, from now on, even if we do integrate concepts that we can share with foreign cultures externally, we still must include something that's uniquely Korean and also something that has Korean cultural DNA in it. 
and this should be done by developing various cultural forms and also by discovering stories. The Korean wave is also called the miracle, the global miracle of the 0.7%, and that's because the Korean population is only 0.7% of the entire world, yet the Korean wave has a significant influence. What would you say is needed to maintain the current momentum of the Korean wave? In order to maintain the current momentum of Korean wave, we must expand the regions of influence. First, there must be an expansion of genres from K-pop and TV dramas to movies, animation, character, and, of course, also fashion. And secondly, the foundation of Korean popular culture must be fostered. Thirdly, plot construction central to Korean wave and all cultural works and creative talent development are also very important. Now, though, there are projections that the Korean wave may not last for five years. But if we do take action in alliance to these points, it will be sustainable as a cultural trend for possibly the next five, ten, perhaps many more years. Then as the uh, president of the Korea Creative Content Agency, is there anything you would like to say, especially to our international viewers, regarding the Korean wave? The Korea Creative Content Agency was established to promote the cultural industry within the creative economy. The current era is not exactly an era of manufacturing, but rather it's the era of knowledge industry and creative economy. We are living in a period in which national development is led by creativity and ideas. COCA has its basis in such global trends. Also, we strive to develop Korea into a leader of the global content market through political efforts and support businesses by effectively utilizing the creative human resources of our country. Well, hopefully we will take into consideration all the different factors so that the Korean wave can continue its momentum in the world. Uh, thank you so much for your time, President Hong, and for all of your insight on this matter today. Thank you. Thank you.